Alright guys, I got a new video for you guys today. This is on the Droid 3 and Hashcode has just released uh, a new CM10, CM10.1 which is based on a Jelly Bean 4.2.1. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys how to install it and then kind of go through a little bit of it. So you have to make sure that you have um, root which is right here, super user. So you have to have super user as a prerequisite. You have to have SafeStrap 3.05 installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is a different ROM, but I'm going to go ahead and boot into SafeStrap by powering off and reboot, recovery, or you can just reboot and then hit the button down at the bottom. But some of the ROMs have that reboot recovery option in there for SafeStrap. Um, so let's let this thing reboot and I'll get into uh, showing you guys how to install it. Um, go ahead and make sure, I'm going to give you guys a video, uh, links down below in the, in the video description for uh, hash codes of download links. So you will have those to download the zip, the ROM, and the gaps. Make sure you use the 4.2.1 gaps on this or Google applications um, otherwise it will not work correctly so make sure you do that also you have to install this thing on ROM slot 1 and because of the way Hashcode has written the ROM it will not function otherwise so if you have something in ROM slot 1 go ahead and back it up and then you can install it on like ROM slot 2 if you want just restore it to ROM slot 2 after you do a backup and you'll have it there so First thing I would do is I'd go ahead and make a backup if you haven't already. I just made one a little bit ago, so I'm good. Um, but make a backup. Then you're going to go in here and you're going to make sure you're on ROM slot 1, which right here you can see I have marked as CM10.1. And it says ROM slot 1, so it's highlighted, so that is good. We're going to go ahead and go into uh, wipes. And we're going to wipe cache partition. We're going to wipe Delvet cache partition. We're going to go factory reset back and we're going to hit system just do the whole thing that way we got a nice clean slate to work on here um, and go back so we can go back out of this with the button down there and then uh, hit installs and I think I'm in the right spot here yeah right here right here up at the top this is uh, my CM10.1 right there that is from 118 2013 and then you just flash it when this is done we'll flash the Google applications or the gaps and we'll go from there so I'm gonna pause while this thing flashes alright so we have got the uh, ROM flashed so we're just gonna hit back and then my Google applications or gaps would be this one right here would be gaps dash jelly bean 2012 12 12 I'm going to select it and make sure it's the one that's highlighted up here in case you fat fingered something. And it looks like it is. And we're going to go ahead and flash that. Uh, this should only take a little bit here. It shouldn't take too long. You can see the progress bar on the bottom already building. Um, so I'm just going to stay on this one. Uh, it looks like he's got um, uh, some Bluetooth issues fixed with this and then incoming call bug that there's been having with CM10 where your incoming calls wouldn't ring or something like that. So those things should be fixed on it. Bluetooth uh, starts up correctly. There's still um, audio is still bad in Bluetooth, so there's some goof up stuff there. He's going to be working on it. But let's go ahead and uh, reboot system, and we'll see what we got here. So I'm going to show you guys the boot animation, just because I love seeing boot animations. And then we'll pause and let this thing fully load. I'll go through my setup, and then we'll show you guys the ROM. Again, safe strap, it's normal splash screen. You can hit your uh, search button down here to bypass it or just wait 10 seconds and it'll boot normally. Okay, here you go, guys. That is the Saijin Mod boot animation. Gotta love it for CM10. Uh, always remember, give this thing at least 10 minutes to boot up the first time just because it's got to rewrite everything because you just flashed a new ROM. And also remember, Battery, battery, battery. Whenever you flash anything, 80% battery or more is very preferable. If you're in the middle of flashing something your battery dies, it could be a very bad situation. So that's it. Let's let this thing boot and I'll get back to you. 
all right guys here we go we have uh, fully booted up it looks like um, so let's kind of check this sucker out looks uh, ooh, transitions kind of like floating in and out that's, that's kind of neat I kind of like it uh, yeah transitions pretty cool so that's your basic screens here um, let's go ahead and see what we have here pull down there's no toggles in it let's go up here there we go there is your jelly bean 4.2.1 toggles or quick buttons there however you want to call them you do have a battery percentage there which is nice versus your screen up here that doesn't um, also if you pull down with one finger you get this screen I think if you pull down with two you get this screen just a neat little trick you're gonna learn as you play with Jelly Bean 4.2 um, so let's go into settings here and we're gonna scroll down to about phone and see if we can click on there we go and as you can see, it is, like I said, Jelly Bean or Android version 4.2.1 right there. And it's running hash codes kernel. So that is very, very nice. Um, let's see what other settings we have in here. He's got launcher stuff, lock screen theming, and systems. Let's go into systems. We have quick panel settings, notification drawer, power menu, clock widget, notification light, hardware keys. Hardware keys, let's see what we have here. Enable custom actions, yeah, so different things for long press and stuff like that. Uh, status bar, um, clock clock, battery styles, some different uh, different options you have in here also. Battery styles, I like changing this to percentage, so we're going to do that. So there you go, you got a percentage up there. Um, so there are some features that say menu. I like having screenshots on mine, and it does have a reboot menu, which is nice to reboot you straight into safe strap. So we do have those features. Let's go in our app drawer and see what we have in here. Um, looks like pretty much your basic stuff. You do have a file manager here. I wonder what this file manager is. Let's see what what file manager we're looking at here. It's just Sygen Mod File Manager. I'm sure this thing has uh, root access. So that's pretty sweet. Let's uh, back out and see what else we got. Um, you have some stuff in here. Standard, yeah. You do have this thing, My Library, which is uh, a nice little widget if it'll work. No room on that screen, so I gotta pick a different screen. We'll do this one. There we go. So that's your. Uh, I don't have my Google Play set up, but that would be all that kind of stuff on there. Um, so yeah, there you go. Pretty pretty nice. Uh, let's just make sure camera is functioning on this thing, which I think it is. Go to applications and all right, it is not. Camera is not functioning on this, or at least there's not one built into the application. Third-party camera might function. Not really sure. That's always kind of a big bummer for me for all these hash code builds, but. It is what it is. So anyway, guys, that is what we got here. This is the newest build of CM10 for the Droid 3, uh, which is Jelly Bean 4.2.1. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe down below. Check out my new webpage right here. Follow me on Twitter or Facebook. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you another time.